I'm feeling artsy. Artsy fartsy. Breaks are good. I don't care who you are. Or how much you say you like doing something. Quit lying to yourself. Take your breaks. Do something else. I'm gonna do something else today. There's a chub. I'm gonna make a fish plaque. Does this really qualify? I don't know if this really qualifies as something else. This is pretty much the same thing. I'm carving a fish out of a piece of wood. The fins I'm thinking are gonna be Lexan. The body's gonna be wood, all carved out. Just one side, it's a flat piece, a plaque. Sorry, I'm not farting, that's my chair. A plaque that goes on the wall and it's gonna be beautiful. Painted, intricate, art. Artsy fartsy. I've always been an artsy fartsy kind of guy. I need a, I swear, this is the last time I'm gonna say artsy fartsy. That's, I have exhausted that phrase. This is straightforward stuff. Piece of wood, carve a three-dimensional representation of a creek chub. I don't think I'm gonna have a lot to say, but I know what will give me a lot to say. Have I done fun facts on a creek chub yet? I don't need to do fun facts on the thing that... One sec, I'm gonna figure out what to do fun facts on. Right. Fun facts on flatulence. Let's just get to the wiki page. The page doesn't exist. We'll have to figure something else out. Wait, <laughs> the page does exist. Look it. If you think this is dumb, I invite you to grow up a little bit. There is a lot to learn from gastroenterology. It's part of the digestive tract, you know? You, it's important. There is a lot that goes on with this study. Okay, let's get the really, really funny stuff out of the way. If flatulent is, in medical literature, explained as the There are little chunks of my finger in that blade. I'm sorry you all had to witness that. I need to tape this up better. That is the first time I have ever had an accident on the bandsaw and it's a disgusting feeling. Yeah, that went plenty deep. That got to the fingernail. Um, maybe I just need a break. My head's not really into things right now. I'm just kind of bleh. The seasons are changing, the, the mood's mellowing out. Getting a little out of it. Not into what I'm doing, you know? It might not so much be I need to make something else. I might just need to take a break. Stuff like that really kind of... If you're not having your head in the game when you're working with power tools, you should probably just stop. That's a good lesson though. If you don't care, don't pretend you care or else you're gonna chop your finger off on a bandsaw. I already did those fun facts, so I think I'm just gonna finish up the fun facts and let you guys watch, but I'm gonna take a few days off. It scares the crap out of you when you do that. Um, complicated butt tail swim bait is still not in a mold. I've, got, I've been through like three setbacks with this thing, most of which I, don't, I didn't even record, I don't have on video. Uh, I, it, I've had a heck of a time getting this thing smooth. I had to put the hook in it and I cut a slot on the top here and put the hook in, smoothed it off, sanded it, smoothed it off, sanded it. It's been a long process of smoothing things off and sanding it. And I've just now gotten it to where I'm satisfied with how smooth it is. So I'll get back to that and put it in a mold or maybe I won't, I don't know. God, that scares the crap out of you when you touch a bandsaw blade. Whew. I'm done today though. Enjoy those fun facts. Take a little breaky poo and it's on to the next bait in a few days, okay? See you later. If you think this is dumb, I invite you to grow up a little bit. There is a lot to learn from gastroenterology. If flatulent is, in medical literature, explained as the flatus expelled through the anus. The word flatus, I hope I'm saying that right, F-L-A-T-U-S, flatus. It's the Latin word for the definition of this is hard to get through. I'm really stumbling over this. Fun facts, man. A blowing or a breaking wind. Flatus. Gas generated by the stomach or the bowels. Not all of this gas is generated just by the intestines or the stomach or all of the chemical reactions that are going on inside of your di digestive system. Sometimes you just swallow air and it makes it through. Flatology. 
is the study of this. There are studies of this. This is some serious stuff. Muscles are what literally moves all of the food and the gases and the things that you eat through your uh, digestive system. So there's muscles lining this whole track and they're constantly working. You don't even know. This is all subconscious. It's, it has a lot to do with breathing too. The uh, respiratory system really makes everything flow in your body. Breath is important. The frequency and the rate at which everything moves through your body varies greatly between individuals. It's especially funny on the wiki page because they're so <laughs> random but professional about this. I don't know how to say this word, one sec, before I say this next fun fact. Feculent. Yeah, feculent. It's an adjective, feculent, okay. Of or containing dirt, sediment, waste matter. Um, it's explaining the odor of flatulence as a feculent odor, <laughs> which may be intense. The noise is commonly associate, associated with flatulence is like blowing a raspberry. It has it in, it has it in quotes. Blowing a raspberry. What is that word? Embroacher? Embroacher. Embroacher. Playing a wind instrument. You know how you have to press your lips together when you play a wind instrument? Um, that's explaining what a certain part of your body is doing when you have a flatulence. Let's zoom this camera in a bit for a serious effect, because this is getting out of hand. Okay, under the topic of flatology, flatology, they do consider burping in some practices to be a flatulent. It's sometimes included under the topic of flatulence, burping, so we're inclusive here. Let's move on to the smells. There's people who go into the doctor because their flatulence smell too bad. Did you know that? They go to the doctor to get that treated. It has never occurred to me that, you know, I'm around somebody that have a flatulent. And the next thing I think is, boy, you need to go to the doctor. Can you imagine that? You have to go to the doctor. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> next time one of my friends fart around me, I'm going to be like, you need to go to the doctor. <sighs> but there's things that doctors treat this with. Uh, bismuth. It's just a compound that binds hydrogen sulfide. So it takes the sulfuriness out of a flatulent. I guess. Oh, you can uh, eat some activated charcoal. It's an ancient treatment that apparently works. It's medically recognized to work. And then there's garments and external devices that can catch your flatulent. That's interesting. I, I suppose that's interesting. That's not that interesting. I'm not that interested to learn any more about that. This is the most uncomfortable fun facts I've ever done, but we're having fun. There's a subtopic in the wiki page on flatulence about society and culture. And many cultures, many, many cultures, it's regarded as embarrassing to pass a flatulent in public. But depending on context, it also can be humorous. People will often strain and hold, hold in the passing gas, just to be polite, you know? Or position themselves to silently pass gas. <laughs> In other cultures, it's like no more embarrassing than just coughing or sneezing. I'm gonna stay away from those cultures. It seems like you go to Walmart today and people don't even care if they cough on you, so yeah, you wouldn't want the next worst thing. Especially among children, it's used as a humorous supplement to a joke. Pull my finger is in quotes after that. Wiki is so weird. The whoopee cushion was invented in the early 20th century. There's a farting app on the iPhone that in 2008 it was earning $10,000 every day. People like farts. So now let's move on to the environmental impact of flatulence, some serious stuff. It's often blamed as the significant source of greenhouse gases, cows. I don't know why just cows are blamed, but cows, man. I mean, deers fart too. Deers eat a lot of grass and horses and all grazing animals on earth. They account for 20% of the global methane emissions. Over 90% of it's released through the mouth, they just burp. Oh, they say that there's a proposal for reducing the methane emissions from these animals by feeding them oregano and seaweed, or supplementing their diet with oregano and seaweed. And then there's the genetic engineering of gut biome and microbes. They can maybe produce less methane. And then there's some uppity European countries that are considering a fart tax from these animals, flatulent tax, excuse me. Just taxing some farmers because their cows burp and fart or flatulent, flatulate, flatus, I don't know. Those politicians lobbying for a fart tax. <laughs> there's, sorry, before we get to entertainment, there's a section in this wiki that's just religion. And it's, it's a little line. All it says is, in Islam, flatulence invalidates wudu or ritual purity. <laughs> I, think it, I think that means that if you fart during a ritual, like a prayer or something, 
you invalidate it. All right, what were we gonna do? Entertainment. Historically, the ability to fart on command was observed as early as the 5th century AD. St. Augustine, the city of God, that's just a book, the city of God, he wrote about observing these great men who had such command of their bowels that they could break wind continuously at will. It was so as to produce an effect of singing. He wrote this in his book. St. Augustine, a saint, wrote this in one of his books. Intentional passing of gas and its use as entertainment. That was entertainment back then. I'm glad I live today. Aren't we all? We should be. You should be. You know, they say farting, it's not funny. You try to use farts in comedy, it's just cheap and dumb. But it is full of facts. I do not know if I'm actually gonna use these fun facts. Pretty bold move of me to just do fun facts on flatulence. But, uh, these fun facts are over.